Hey, how's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm training our Connor, and we are here with battle number two for the Kyoto Classic Wi-Fi competition. Hooray. Um, if you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Always appreciate the support, you guys. I, I really enjoy it. Truly, I do. I, I, I really do. Okay, so, um, summer vacation just began for me, personally, and, um, I'm really looking forward to making more content for you all. So, if you guys are excited for more Wi-Fi battles, definitely, definitely, uh, look out for daily uploads from, like, Wednesday and Saturday, and hopefully bonus videos in between. Awesome! So, uh, the layout for my Johto Classic team is right on the screen for your viewing leisure. I got Arcanine, I got Venusaur, I got Clefable, Quagsire, Raikou, and Dragonite. So, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Um, I forgot to mention their items. So, Arcanine is packing the Assault Vest. Um... Let's see, Venusaur is Black Sludge, if I can remember, and uh, Pixie Plate for Clefable, and Leftovers for Quagsire, Lumberry on Dragonite, and Raikou is Wise Glasses. So, very, very interesting, in my opinion. Okay, so for the second match here, we have to face another Skarmory. Um, battle number one, we had to face a Skarmory, and that was really tough to beat. Um, if you have not seen that match, I'll put the first battle in the description. But anyway, so we have to face another Skarmory, a uh, Venusaur, and a Chansey. What an annoying team, you guys. Holy crap. Um, so I brought Quagsire, Raikou, and Arcanine. So, that will be fun. Let's go ahead and play this thing, and we'll see who wins. This is actually a really long match. Um, 18 turns in a 3-on-3 three -three battle format, so this is going to be interesting, right? So, he starts off with his Scar and Mori. I want to burn this thing, uh, for one thing, I guess. And so, Quagsire goes for the Scald. We break his multi-scale, but we do not burn it, which really sucks. Um, I was expecting him to switch into Venusaur because that was, I guess at the time, I thought that was the optimal play, but he does end up switching into Chansey, which I burn it, uh, but that will not matter because I believe Chansey gets a natural cure, which means if you switch out, you get rid of the burn or any, any uh, size condition. So we actually have a double switch. I go into Arcanine as he goes into his Skarmory once again. I do cut his attacking power in half, which is like awesome because that's that's what you would do against the Skarmory. And uh, we go with the Flare Blitz. I do take him out. Uh, but I have to take a ton of recoil damage. Not only the Rocky Helmet, but of course the recoil from Flare Blitz as well. So we take a ton of damage there. Um, it's really, really apparent that this Chansey is going to be Eevee Light. But I'm like, you know what, let's just stay in and uh, put a ton of damage onto this uh, Chansey. He actually paralyzes Arcanine. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> And now you get the Soft Boil here. Um, soft Boil restores the HP. He's really fishing for the Paralysis from my Arcanine. Uh, because look at that. I, I, that close combat just doesn't finish off Chansey unless I get a critical hit. But I guess, you know what, I have extreme speed. It doesn't matter. And we get to finish off Chansey. Um, and it's like... Well, we already took out two Pokemon. You said that this is a 18-turn uh, battle, so this is where the fun begins. We got this Venusaur here, and he finishes me off with a Sludge Bomb. And so I go into Raikou next, 
And it's really nice because Ryko has extra sensory and hidden power ice for coverage against Venusaur. Little did I know that this particular Venusaur is really specially bulky because holy crap, that hidden power ice did not do any damage. And so I go with an extra sensory which actually does a little bit more damage. I'm a little bit surprised about that, but that's okay, we'll do everything we can to take out this Venusaur. Um, Venusaur is really bulky in this uh, tournament because it has Black Sludge, it has access to Leech Seed, uh, and Photosynthesis. Wow, Synthesis! <laughs> that, that, that just happened there. Uh, yeah, so he has access to Synthesis, and so he's trying to stall me out, that's the whole idea. And I do not appreciate stall. Um, I'm like, can I get a critical hit? Can I please get a critical hit? That would be really nice. Just to make up for the trolling of the Venusaur, where it's like he's going for Leech Seed and uh, going for Synthesis numerous times. So I'm going to go with the full switch, get out of there, get rid of the Leech Seed, and then go into Quagsire, and you're like, whoa, whoa, hang on a minute, that's not a good play at all. Trainer Connor, you're better than that. But, you know what, um, I actually have to make that sacrifice, because I, f I know that Quagsire can't really do much. Um, we already know that this Venusaur has Leech Seed, Sludge Bomb, and, uh, Synthesis. So he has one more move to reveal, and I'm like, okay, what is it? It's actually Roar! So, it, it turns out that he does not have, like, Giga Drain or anything like that. Really surprising, but it turns out that this Venusaur is really showing himself a nice showcase here, if that makes sense. He's making a huge showcase to us. He's proving that he's a really good Pokemon. And yeah, Venusaur is really good, but with that moveset, you, you can't really touch uh, Quagsire you know, unless you have uh, Giga Drain. So I'm gonna keep going for this like weird uh, switching scenario where I go with Volt Switch and uh, he gets to roar, he gets to roar me back. And it's really unfortunate because Stealthos are apparent in this battle. Um, you notice that Scarmory set those up. And that's going to help my opponent some, I realized. So we're going to stay in again. I'm like, okay, let's just let's, let's go ahead and KO this thing. Don't go for synthesis. Oh, he goes for synthesis. Gosh darn it. And we see that um, this thing has to is going to be a little bit annoying. But don't worry, you guys. It's not over yet. We'll see who wins at the end of this video. And if you're going to skip to the end of this video, well, you cheated, because, you know, well, I mean, I'm not really saying that you're cheating. Uh, I don't control you guys, but anyway, so enough of that. Let's get back to the match. Um, again, we do not KO Venusaur. Ugh, so annoying. Um, and uh, it's really nice that the burn is racking up damage. It kind of makes up for the Black Sludge recovery that he's going there and uh, we're, we're, we're putting the amount of damage back to him and we get the flinch. That sealed it guys. We're gonna win this battle um, because I got that flinch. So I was fishing for a crit and the um, you know flinch and crit stuff. Yeah okay uh, so he gets the forfeit there um, which is fine. I, I, I understand the frustration that my opponent went through. But that was an epic battle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to actually post more than three battles for this uh, competition, so look out for battle number three, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully the next day after that, I don't know. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, trainers!